I'm Charlotte Watson from the Great British Orienteering Team and I'm going to tell you about a technique called aiming off. This technique helps you find the control quickly with less risk and more confidence. This is a training course I have devised to practice aiming off. I am going to sh show you examples of control one and control two. The first control is on a boulder behind a path. We can either aim deliberately left or right of the path to find the control. I'm going to aim deliberately left, so I'm going to take my map, set my compass so that I am deliberately left of the control, turn the housing and turn myself so that I am facing the right direction. I can see from my compass that I want to go that way. That will take me down the hill to the deliberately left of the control to the path. When I hit the path, I will turn right and then I should see the boulder on my left as I run up the path. I have now reached the line feature. I know I need to turn right and I am sure to find the control. On this next control there are three different linear features we could use it for aiming off. There is the path, the ditch and this sudden change in slope here on the contour lines. I'm not going to use the path because it's quite a long way from the control. I could use the ditch but I'm a bit uncertain that it might not be that obvious in this terrain. So I'm going to use this change in slope. I'm going to aim to go above the control to the left because if I go below the control to the right this means I am descending more than I need to and will have to climb back up the hill to find the control. So I'm going to set my compass as I did before in the previous example, turn the bezel so that I'm, it's facing everything is lined up, turn myself so that I'm facing the right way, look up for where I want to go and run off. Now decide how you would use aiming off on leg 2 to 3 and 5 to 6. Which line feature might you use? Let's recap about aiming off. This technique is good to use when there is a line feature near the control. We can use aiming off to turn this line feature into an attack point. To do this we do aim deliberately left or right of the control. Things to consider when deciding which side to aim of the control could be the runnability of the terrain, where the control is visible from, and if you're having to climb or descend to the control. There are many different linear features we can use for aiming off, such as paths, stone walls, fences, and also contours. Contours can create linear features such as re-entrance, sudden changes in slopes, and spurs. Next time we go orienteering, have a go at using aiming off and run well.